is a work problem involving uniform circular motion concept. Without any aid from static friction, banking a curve so that it makes an angle theta with the horizontal direction allows cars to engage a curved road at much greater speed than the usual. Let's consider a 1600 kilogram car that goes at 55 miles per hour around the curve whose radius r is 47 meters. Please note in the figure we put the center of curvature of the road that determines the uh, length of the radius r. Assume kinetic friction air drag to be negligible for the purposes of this problem. First, what is the banking angle theta as shown in the figure? And second, what is the normal force from the road? The first thing we notice is the acceleration points along the radius r and that is horizontal. So we could choose the coordinate system to reflect just the physical horizontal and vertical x and y. Doing that, we can write Newton's second law by components, f net sub x equals m a sub x, f net sub y equals m a sub y, where a sub y is equal to zero in this particular case. So the car's acceleration is purely in the x direction. Next step, we could figure out what are the forces acting on the car. The Earth's gravitational force pointing straight down and the normal force from the road pointing perpendicular to the curve. So n has nx and ny components, and x equals mass times centripetal acceleration, and y balances the weight of the car, so ny minus mg equals zero. Again, reflect on the fact that a sub y is equal to zero because the car doesn't skid downhill as it moves. In fact, we said we would neglect kinetic friction altogether in this problem. So moving on, we can use trigonometry. The angle theta is the same as the other angle theta shown in the figure. Therefore, we can find nx as n sine theta and ny as n cosine theta. Let's make those substitutions. Now we have two equations in two unknowns, n and theta. We could divide the first equation by the second equation and eliminate n like this and coincidentally also eliminate m. So it turns out that the answer does not depend on the mass of the car. Tangent theta equals v square over gr, hence theta equals inverse tangent of v square over gr. This answer makes a lot of sense because increasing the speed of the car requires a greater banking angle and also decreasing the radius, making the curvature greater, also requires a grading banking angle theta. That makes sense. The angle is approximately 53 degrees. Now we need to find n. We actually need to use the mass of the car to find the normal force. Using n cosine theta equals mg, we can solve for n and find mg over cosine theta, and that's equal to approximately 26 kilonewtons. So in the end, we found the banking angle theta and the normal force on the car.